electromechanical is basically just a leads into mechatronics. It's getting you all the background information that you need to tie all these systems together. This differs in, from automation in that we focus more on troubleshooting than design of the programs. Uh, it's how to use the programs and the software that's available to figure out what's going on with an existing system and how to make the repair. Mechanical is a two-year degree uh, and once you get out you would have all the qualifications of an industrial maintenance professional plus the PLC background and some of the robotics background that you get from the automation program. Now these systems are going to be student projects where the the students given a basic system a blank PLC and a spool of wire they have to wire everything up program the PLC and make the system operate with the higher level of technology that's coming into the area with Yokohama and, and PACAR they're really seeing a need for individuals that understand the PLC programming um, they have engineers that can develop the programming but they really need those engineers to stay in the office developing new products. Uh, they, they're wanting someone who is a technician who's available to do the, the troubleshooting on the shop floor. Virtually every company in the area uses some form of automation. The range it's anywhere from the high tech at PACAR in Yokohama to things as simple as Prestige Farms. Their feed mill is entirely automated. With the growth in industry and automation, we want to continue to grow and bring in new levels of automation training here at EMCC. Uh, we've already started growing even before the, the program has really been established. Uh, I'm in the process right now adding um, vision control systems, RFID barcoding systems, because that's already being used in the area. So what we're seeing here is not where it's going to stop as far as... No, absolutely not.